Since this isn't getting a wins version due to a bit of a lack of interest over on that channel when I first asked, I'm actually kicking off this video by removing a sin and going minus one, because the animation is utterly gorgeous. In fact, to me, it looks even better than the first season, an incredibly rare feat these days. Instead of serving their many customers, all of the maids currently employed are merely standing around in the kitchen praising another of their fellow maids. What if someone is thirsty or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> Boob motion sound effects still effectively in effect like a feckless wreck. <laughs> I don't know why I wrote that. God damn man, there's clearly more maids than were standing in the kitchen before now. Back to zero, are you having a laugh? Having the sheer gall to call this a landslide. <laughs> Being able to have any grasp of how the fighting is going from this far down below. No, the other dragon who isn't standing right there. You know, it bugs me to an unreasonable degree that you got a character who essentially looks like a kid and yet has massive jubblies. It's just plain old weird, man. I'll never be on board with it. Take that, Sin. CGI! She definitely didn't save Toru. She was perfectly fine. She saved the city by getting her to act and thus won the battle, but she wasn't exactly in danger. In fact, she famously reacted to all the built up damage with an owl. Even as a kid, you'd be a bit of a knob to start playing the recorder right next to someone who was currently using the phone. Man as much! <laughs> this girl is having a proper anime phone call by consistently asking questions rather than talking normally. Impressive, Snake. Yeah, but that logic is flawed, isn't it? She's literally living with a dragon. She knows this. She questioned her own why she does this. How is she not afraid and was given answers? So now talking in absolutes as though that previous conversation before boarding the train didn't occur is silly. <laughs> well, she certainly didn't perform a surgery on the train right now, did she? <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not normal. It's not an everyday thing, is it? Also though, I can take her getting aroused from the rear. That's natural. Your boy here is a boy, you feel me? But let's not already, at just episode 2, start diving into bloody weird territory yet again by having anything happen from what's happening up front. Being purposefully vague, of course. Yeah, it's a kid though. <laughs> She's appeared once whilst you were alone, unless there's been more interactions that the anime hasn't filled the need to tell us about, and she's been presumably going to and from work and not come across her since. Just so happening to come across her in a massive city like this. Yeah, that's what he just said. So you're admitting that this new one is a kid as well. For the sake of your own story and the very likely weird things you're going to be doing with this character in future episodes, you could have at least tried pretending she's an adult. But nope, they admit it, and they'll still do it later. It's, as you can likely tell, one of my major issues with this anime in general. Oh, 
Says the girl who was actively running away and not fighting and didn't look at all injured at that point? Okay, they can take back an earlier sin because it's clear from this she was talking in absolutes before. Humans cannot coexist with dragons. Not because it's a fact, which is how I interpreted it, but instead because it would mean she's wasted so much of her time not being able to be friends with humans when she could have. So fair enough. <laughs> so these guys have a paper trail, and yet he asked her nicely to give his name to the judge after she dies so that he gets the credit. Why are you doing this really weird thing again in this new season, though? <laughs> Talking about her as though she's not literally half a foot away. How could you tell what snacks you were buying, though? God, this is weird. Kind of a dumb sin, I'll grant you, but I felt genuinely terribly bored listening to her voice. I was bored, and yet at the same time, fending off knives to my head caused by her grating monotone voice. In short, not keen on that. Yes! He literally started off his sentence with a I happened to hear that! Of course he heard it! Imagine keeping that same energy from the office, out of the building, down the street, onto the train, getting off the train, down the street, and finally making your way up to your apartment building's floor and unlocking the door whilst you burst in with that same reaction. Unlikely! For the first and only time, nope! Height of Kawaii! No sin here or anything, but mildly weird to introduce the episode and its name well over halfway through the thing. <laughs> yes, this is just plain old, genuinely and honestly irritating. Stop! Stop! <laughs> 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 Never normally remove so many sins, but take one off here for doing a monster fight with seemingly no CGI. At least none that I can notice. That's so rare, it's nuts. <laughs> of course she can! You've been living in the same house as her now for seemingly weeks or months at this point and never realised that she's not going around burning stuff down and destroying things? <laughs> Boy falls onto boobs cliché! What?! <laughs> this anime really cannot help it, can it? No, you're not, and that's the problem with those scenes. 
タキヤ気分がいいから俺に勝ったらお前の家族とやらに話を合わせてやる負けないでやるよ挑んでくるか人間 He didn't challenge you! You literally just challenged him! What's going on? <laughs> I have no more words! It's just gross, bruh! Take a rare max two sins here! This anime are always talking about other people who they're right in front of and no one ever reacts to it. It's so weird, man. <laughs> Wait, so are you telling me that humans never notice their horns and tails and stuff? Like the new girl got told she had to change her claws into human arms and hands to avoid being noticed. Couldn't she have just used perception blocking? It's just weird that no one has mentioned their tails and stuff. If it's an issue and if they're blocking it, then why are we seeing it and why have they sometimes got to try and replace dragon features with human ones if you only got a block? I'm confused! <laughs> they literally cannot stop! <laughs> You gotta stop though! I know I've sinned it like nine times, but it's a genuine problem in the anime. I can't believe how much they focus on it, and there's so much greatness in other areas, but this one bugs the hell out of me. You know, I'll give them a sin back here. It's weird that no one notices the horns, but they make an effort to get rid of the tail out and about, so there's at least some logic and consistency to it. Says the kid who just finished saying that they don't exist in the first place. Not sure if it works differently in Japan or not, but would be a lot of odd to do this outside of a closed front door in this country, or any other country I know of personally. <laughs> I swear, only in anime does someone innocently cough or sneeze and everyone is like, What the fuck is going on? How long you got left to live? Young lad in high school knows what an expensive looking handmade doll looks like. In fairness, could have easily been talking about the location that she recommended you fish at, rather than if she was her fish herself, especially given how she just mentioned a change in location. How... how does that statement make any sense? He said a girl tries to look into his whereabouts, so he blocked it, and she says, Jeez, you boys! What?! What's this supposed to mean?! Can't tell you how extremely rare this is, but another sin off for this battle as a whole. Again, in a time of CGI and cutting corners, in most cases understandably given tight schedules and overworking and such, this is a joy to witness from a comedy. This dude isn't at all curious where her parents might be, considering she looks like she's meant to be about seven years old on her own in the middle of the incredibly busy centre of New York. These guys were able to pull off this heist in what must have been around one and a half seconds flat. How did she turn off the electrics inside there, though? Mm. 
Considering the stamp would have shown it came from the USA and the litter was written in English, I'd wager that's a brilliant guess from her right there. Well, will people say the exact same thing at the exact same time and in the exact same way, cliche? What gave it away? Him literally saying it? We've all been there, you stand up, say a word, and then the chin goes all googly woogly for some reason. Being kept in the air by these tiny ass wings, I'm not buying what you're selling! Yeah, but that's her point. People who knew you before would be shocked to also see you now, given that you're very happy with being a familiar. It's not about whether or not you chose it, I'm sure you did, but the point is very valid. Pretty amazing how these leaves have been falling down literally non-stop since this part of the episode started, and yet there's nothing on the food. It knows to avoid them tasties! Nathan Byrne, Bird Without a Word, Aiden White, PK Fan, Ali50, Ryan Anderson, Isael Caldera, Chris Harris, Jonas Schnall, Manolo Saucedo Munoz, Luis Hernandez, Kim Munt, Jason Davies, Yuki Ali, Manuel Morales, Dark Lord Bloody Soul, Blitz Cloud, Aura Keeper, Steelers, Kimi O, Sentimento, Jeffa6263, Master Tank, Kevin Nelter, Brendan Creer, Storm970, Mr. Waffle64, Karj Vorzorna, Jordan Samuels, Sean Graves, The Epic Amanda, Crimson Shadows, Kyle Farmer, Buzzbond3000, Adora Blue, 